Hi everybody, welcome to Franny Square. If you've always wanted to learn how to mosaic crochet, and I mean really learn, this is the video for you. Okay, so this is part one of a three-part tutorial on how to make a mosaic crochet tote bag. And this is the tote bag. Now I know that this first video is a long video and what part one is, is making the mosaic fabric. I highly recommend that for this video, you grab a coffee or a tea and a snack and sit back and just watch the video at first. What I'm going to do during this video is I'm going to explain to you exactly why I'm doing each stitch that I do in mosaic crochet. And when you really understand what you're doing, it makes it so much easier. And it makes the pattern secondary because you can look at what you're doing and say, oh, okay, here I need a double crochet. And you'll understand that as we go on. Now, normally, you know in my tutorials, I will put the instructions at the bottom of the screen. I didn't do that for this tutorial for two reasons. First, the instructions for each row were rather long and my font kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and it would be difficult to see. I could have tried to break up the instructions, but I thought that would get confusing. Also, I really wanted you to take the time to understand what you're doing. And as I've said, then the pattern becomes secondary. Now I will be providing the pattern in both written form and chart form, and I'll be doing a tutorial to show you how to read both of those. So you will get this pattern for free, but I'm telling you, watch this, learn and understand mosaic crochet. It will help you so much when you're doing a mosaic crochet, and it will help you to even design your own mosaic crochets. So the three parts of this tutorial are part one, making the mosaic fabric, part two, making the border that hides all your ends. You will not have to sew in your ends and the border will become the side of your bag and the bottom of your bag. And then part three, I'm gonna show you how to make an I-cord handle. Now, when I made this handle, I made rings. I crocheted rings and attached it, the handle to those. I'm not really loving the way they stretch out when I hold it. They're pretty strong, but I think I would prefer a wooden or a metal ring. So I'm probably gonna switch that up and refilm the making of the handle. So you may see the handle change by the third part of the tutorial. Once I purchase my rings, I'll let you know what I got, but you could probably purchase rings at Michael's or Joann's or at Amazon, any rings that you like. Okay, so that's the format of this three-part tutorial. Sit back, relax, and enjoy part one, making a mosaic fabric. Okay, so for this project, I'm using Ice's Zerda Alpaca yarn, and I'm going to use two skeins of each color. And this is 30% alpaca, 70% Draylon acrylic. It's a 100 gram skein that has 175 meters per skein. So I'm going to be using two skeins of these and a five millimeter hook. As you can see, I don't have my favorite clover hook. I think I gave it away. I have a tendency to do that. And uh, I think I need to buy myself some more hooks. Okay, so let's get started. To start, we're going to chain 55. Make your slip knot and chain 55. And I will meet you back here once you have your chain done. Okay, and next what we're going to do is go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet all the way across. And at the end, we should have 54 single crochets. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now I have 54 single crochets. And at the end, I'm just going to pull through as if to chain and fasten off, leaving a tail. Now you're going to have a lot of tails when you work with mosaic, but don't worry, you're not going to have to weave them in. I'll show you that when we get to the border of our bag. OK, 
Okay, so next, you wanna take your next color, which is my blue, which is gonna be my design color. The green is gonna be my background color. I'm gonna make a slip knot, like this. And we're gonna start every single row in mosaic exactly the same way, starting with our first stitch here. We're gonna pull our slip knot through and we're going to chain to attach it and then we're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch just like that and every single row is going to start that way now for this first row we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to do a single crochet into the back loop only so here's the back loop and here's the front loop we're just going to go under the back loop pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through both. That's a single crochet in the back loop only. And we're gonna do that all the way across until we get to the last stitch. So do that and stop right before the last stitch. And I will meet you back there to show you what to do for the last stitch of the row. Okay, so I have crocheted into the back loop only and all the way across. And now I am at the very last stitch here. This one's the knot. So what I'm gonna do is go in under both loops, do a regular single crochet, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull through as if to chain and fasten up. So both your first and last stitch are full single crochets. There we go. And we will just leave the tail hanging and we'll move back to the green color. This row is going to be exactly like the last one we just did, so we're going to make a slip knot attached to the first stitch here. So we don't work back and forth in mosaic crochet, we're always working from the right to the left. So we're going to attach our yarn. using a chain to attach. And then we're gonna do a single crochet under both loops in that same stitch where we just chained, the same stitch. And now we're gonna go across and just single crochet in the back loop all the way across, just like that. And until you get to the last stitch, and at the last stitch, just like before, you're gonna do a full single crochet and then pull through as if to chain and fasten off. And I will meet you at that last stitch. Okay, I'm at the last stitch here. So I'm gonna do a full single crochet under both loops. And then I'm gonna pull through as if to chain and fasten off. Okay, now we are back to the blue color and we're gonna start our design. Okay, now with the blue color, we're going to make our slip knot and attach the way we do in the beginning of every row. So we'll go to the first stitch and attach with a chain. And then we'll do a single crochet under both loops into that same stitch. Now in the next four stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop only. One, two, three, four. And in the fifth stitch, we are going to do a double crochet, instead of going into this stitch where we would normally go, we're gonna go into this front loop of the blue below. And what that will do is it will draw a blue line there. That's how we draw with yarn. So, yarn over like you're gonna do a regular double crochet, but instead of going into this, we're gonna to go to the front loop below it. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and finish your double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two, just the way we always do. And there we go. You have that line there, and that is the bottom of your first diamond. Okay, 
Now next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five, in the next five stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. Now you wanna make sure that you skip this stitch that you just double crocheted in front of. You don't wanna go into that one because this counts as that. So we move to the next one and we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop only. And again, I don't know if you caught that, but this yarn splits. Two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do a double crochet into the front loop below the next stitch, right there. Okay. Yeah. You have to make sure you catch the right one. Okay, and that's gonna be our pattern across. We're gonna do five single crochets into the back loop only, and then a double crochet in the front loop in front of the sixth stitch. And we'll continue that across. I'll meet you near the end, right as you get to your last double crochet, and I'll finish off with you. All right, I will meet you there. Okay, now I'm toward the end here. I have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to single crochet into the back loop of the next four stitches, making sure to catch the right one. One, two, three, four, and then in the last stitch, we're going to finish it the way we finish every single row. We're going to do a single crochet under both loops and then pull through as if to chain and fasten up. All right. And this is what it's looking like so far. Now we're gonna move back to the green color. And to start, as always, we're gonna make our slip knot. We're gonna to attach to that first stitch there. With a chain and then a double crochet into that same stitch there we go okay now for this row starting in the next one two three stitches we're going to do a double crochet into the front loop down here into the green because we're going to start drawing our background okay and even if it doesn't make sense to you right now, just do it, it will start to make sense, I promise. So doing a double crochet into that green row below. And whenever you do the double crochet into a row below, you're gonna match the color that you're using. So if I'm using green, I'm going to the green row below. Okay, and we're gonna do that for a total of three stitches like this. Okay, then we're gonna do, so now we're up to here, the stitch to the right of the last double crochet and the stitch to the left. For all three of those stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. Only two, three, good. Okay, so that's where we ended. And now we're going to do one, two, three double crochets into the front loops. Okay, so going down here, one, two, and three. All right, 
And now we will be again at the stitch to the right of the blue double crochet. So for these next three here, the one to the right, the double crochet and the one to the left, we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop only. Okay. And then we're gonna do our three double crochets into the front loop. This is creating our separation between our diamonds or the background, however you wanna look at that. Okay, and again, we're to the stitch to the right of the double crochet for that one. The double crochet and the stitch to the left, we're gonna single crochet into the back loop only. We're gonna continue that pattern all the way across three, the next three stitches we're doing the double crochets in. And then we're gonna do the three single crochets into the back loop only. And continue on down. Okay, this is our last diamond design here that has been started. Okay, and then we're going to double crochet for three stitches. And when we get to the very last stitch, we end the same as we always do, going under both loops, doing a single crochet, pull through as if to chain, and fasten off. All right, so let's look at our pattern so far. It's looking nice. Starting to see the bottom of the diamond next thing that's going to happen is we're going to want to draw blue lines on each side there so that we this is reversed because the design was in green i didn't like it as much so so far we have this with this line we're going to want to draw these lines next so that's what we're going to do all right starting with our blue color now or whatever color you're using for your design, I should say. Okay, we're going to make a slip knot and attach the same as always. Got an itchy nose from the wool. <laughs> okay, so going under the first stitch here, we're gonna attach with a chain and then we're going to do the single crochet in the same stitch under both loops and now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches into the back loop only and the reason we do the back loop i'm sure you've caught on to this by now is that by leaving that front loop hanging we have something to attach to when we drop down and do that double crochet all right now, this is where we want our line to be. So we're going to, in the next stitch, do a double crochet into that front loop. Okay, you don't ever pull up a loop. You don't ever pull through two, you don't ever pull through two. So there we go, we have that line. In the next one, we don't want a line, so we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. And the next one we do want a line. So again, we're gonna double crochet down into that lower row of blue. And there we have it looking exactly the way we want it to look. All right, now we're gonna single crochet into the back loop for the next three stitches, two. And the reason I'm explaining to you what, why I'm doing what I'm doing is hopefully as you're doing it, it's easier 
to know where you're supposed to be and to not make mistakes because you'll be looking at it and saying, oh, yeah, I need a line here. So if you happen to single crochet and you look back and you see you're missing the line, then you'll be, oh, a line, that's a double crochet. All right, so now we're gonna do a double crochet down into the front loop. Just like that. And then a single crochet into the back loop, just like that. And then a double crochet down into the front loop. And this is how we're going to continue across three single crochets into the back loop. One. And when I say that, it's into the next three stitches, not three into one stitch. I have to be careful of the way I say things. Okay, and then a double crochet to draw a line. A single crochet here into the back loop and a double. And keep doing that all the way down, all the way over till you get to your last design over here and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I just finished the double crochet on that last design there and now I'm going to do three single crochets into the back loops at the next stitches, next three stitches. And then for the very last stitch, I'm going to go underneath both loops and do the regular single crochet, pull through as if to chain, and fasten off. Okay, now we're back to the green color, or your background color. So I'm sure you guessed by now, the first thing we're gonna do is attach to the first stitch the way we always do. Slip knot. Chain and then single crochet into that same stitch under both loops. Okay, now we want our design to extend out. Let me show you here. Okay, so now, so far, we have up to here, basically. The next row extends out on each side. So we want our background color over here. We're gonna to need to do some double crochets to cover up this blue here, because our background is green, or my background is green. Follow along with your colors. And then I'm going to want to extend this out here on each side. So I'll show you how we do that. All right, so first things first, I just take a look. So I'm gonna wanna extend to this stitch now. So that gives me two double crochets to cover up those two blues there. So I'm gonna double crochet, go into the row below, like that. The next two stitches. Now, because I'm gonna want this blue to show here, I'm gonna just do a single crochet into the back loop there. Okay, and same thing here. Single crochet into the back loop. Now, for the center of my diamond, I want it to be my background color. So I'm gonna to wanna to cover up this blue here. So I'm gonna do a double crochet into the center there. Just like that. See, it's like coloring over top of it. Now in the next two, I'm gonna to wanna to do a single crochet into the back loop. All right, and the next thing I want is, I want my background to be spacing between the diamonds. So if I look at my diamonds here, I complete my diamond, we're this wide already, so we're at the width of it, and then I want my background color in between the two. 
So again, I'm gonna to have to draw a line, all right? So I've extended out on each side, here and here, sorry about that. And now I'm gonna do a double crochet here to be the background between my two diamonds. Okay, so now I have the separation. Now I'm gonna do a single crochet into the back loop for the next two stitches. And then a double crochet in the center so that the center of my diamond is my background color. Like that. And then a single crochet into the back loop of the next two stitches. And then a double crochet to separate my diamonds. And I'm gonna continue that way all along. And if you caught the pattern, it's two, a single crochet into the back loop, single crochet into the back loop, double crochet. Single crochet into the back loop, single crochet into the back loop, double crochet. So that way, all the way down. The beauty of a mosaic is it's very geometric. So it really does make sense. And I love things that make sense. <laughs> okay. First time I saw mosaic crochet, I was like, wow, it's crochet that looks like knitting. And although my grandmother taught me to knit, I was not very good at it, I must admit. I didn't really take to it. It just seemed to take me too long to get anything done, and I'm sure that's partly because I'm not good at it. I've seen good knitters and they can just cruise, but I am not that person. And crochet was always so easy to rip out or to frog and, uh, you know, just start fresh where knitting I felt like I, I really had to knit backwards or unknit, <laughs> whatever you call it, when you're undoing your knitting. And I would just get myself all confused. <laughs> so I stuck with the crocheting. I may give it another go at some point, but right now I'm pretty busy with the crocheting and I'm loving it. So. Okay, so we just did the center of our last diamond we'll do a single crochet and a single crochet both into back loops and then we want our background over here so we're going to do two double crochets or one double crochet into the front loop for each of the next two stitches hopefully you guys will get used to the way i speak and then in the very last stitch, we're gonna do a full single crochet under both loops. And pull through as if to chain and fasten off. And let's take a look at our design. It's starting to look pretty. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna to move to our blue color again. Okay, so on to our next row. We're going to start with our slip knot and attach into our first stitch here. Look how that is splitting. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't had too difficult time working with it, but it does split. And of course, as you know, I will be doing a review on this yarn. I usually review the yarns that I do tutorials with, so. All right, so we're going to chain to attach, and then we're gonna do a single crochet under both loops. There we go. And now, if we look at the diamonds, from this point where I am here, which is right there, we're gonna want this to go up. Okay, so we're not going any wider. We're staying with the same width. What that means is I'm gonna do a single crochet into each of these back loops here. 
One, two. Now here, I want this to go up. So I'm gonna draw a line. So I'm gonna do a double crochet down into the front loop down there. Just like that. Okay, now the next line I want to come up is gonna be on this side. So I'm just gonna single crochet into the back loops of the next three stitches. One, two, three. And I'm gonna draw my next line here. So I'll do a double crochet into that front loop there. And now you can really see the diamond is starting to take shape. Okay, so next I'll single crochet into the back loop here. And when I single crochet into the back loop, I'm just getting this ripe to have my green come down over it and that'll be covered up in between my two diamonds. Now I want this line to go up. So I'm gonna do a double crochet down into that front loop there. And then I'll do three, the next three stitches, single crochet into the back loop. And a double crochet down into the front loop there, creating our line. And that's how we're gonna go all the way across. So again, a single crochet into the back loop a double crochet into the front loop down here. Then the next three stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. It's just the center of our diamond there. And you've probably guessed, oops, can't talk and crochet at the same time apparently. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we're gonna draw a line here, double crochet down to this front loop here. There we go. We're gonna continue that way all the way across. And I hope this is making sense to you so that it's not even like you have to read the pattern. You're saying to yourself, oh, I need to draw a line here. So I'll do that with a double crochet. Anywhere I don't need a line, I'm gonna use a single crochet into the back loop. And what I was gonna say before, I got my hook all tangled up, is that when you single crochet into the back loop, you're making it possible to draw a line over top of that color. So. It takes a little bit of time to start thinking that way, but once you do, it makes doing mosaics so much easier. My goal in doing this project, aside from doing a project that you like, is to get you f familiar with mosaic and to teach how to make a border to cover up all those ends. So I usually have a goal with our tutorials so that we're learning new skills as we go. Okay. And I know a lot of people, whoops, single crochet here. Um, a lot of people have been asking for mosaic projects. So I thought it'd be a good time to do one. Alrighty, and drawing our line over here. And then we have these two stitches where I'm going to single crochet into the back loop because in my next round, I'll be covering this blue up with green to keep my background green. And then in my very last stitch, I'm gonna do a single crochet under both loops, pull through as if to chain, and fasten off. All right, 
That's the bottom half of your diamonds. Not bad. We'll move back to your background color next. Okay, so attaching our next color, the green color, into the first stitch here. Same exact way every time. Chain to attach, single crochet under both loops of that same stitch. All right, now our diamond's going to continue up here. If we take a look, we've done this much of the diamond, this lower part, it's going to extend up another time, but it's not going further out. So we're going to extend up here. We know we want these to be background. So that means we're going to draw a line. So a double crochet into the front loop there. <clears throat> and another double crochet into the front loop. There we go. Now, since this is the green and we're going to want this to continue from the blue above it, we're just going to put a single crochet in the back loop because we can go right over that with our line in our next row. Now the inside of our diamond here, we want to be our background color, right? We want the whole inside of the diamond colored in. So I'm going to want to cover over these blues right there. So I'm going to do a double crochet into the front loop for each of those three stitches. So I'm basically coloring the inside of my diamond in with the green. Okay, there you go, you can see that. That looks really nice, that's exactly what we want. Then we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop here, getting ready for the blue to come over top of it into this when we start that. And here we want a separation between our diamonds. So that means we're gonna draw a line down. So we're gonna do a double crochet right there. And voila, <laughs> we have a separation. All right, so single crochet into the back loop, double crochet into the front loop for the next three to color in our diamond. Okay. And then a single crochet here, because we know we're gonna wanna draw a line over it. And a double crochet to separate our diamonds. I'll tell you, this cold really lingered. Okay, and back to the same thing. Single crochet in the back loop, double crochet into the front loop for three stitches. Coloring in the diamond. And a single crochet into the back loop. A double crochet into the front loop to create our separation. And you're gonna continue that way all the way across so we get to the end of our last diamond. And then we'll talk about what we do at the end, which you can probably figure out by now. If at any point, sorry about that. If at any point I'm moving too quickly for you, slow down your playback speed and you can watch me in slow motion. That's the beauty of YouTube videos. You can slow it down, you can replay it. It's a great way to learn. I learned so much on YouTube. One time I bought one of those star fruits. I never had uh, used one before. And I was like, how do I cut this? How do I use it? 
went on to YouTube, figured it out. Well, they showed me. <laughs> Got it. See, I was talking and forgot where where I was, but just by looking at what I needed to do, I knew what to do. Okay, single crochet into the back loop. This is my last diamond. I'm doing the three double crochets into the front loops here. And a single crochet into the back loop. And now I want this to be background color. So I'm gonna do two double crochets for these two stitches here. Cover over that blue. And then in the last stitch, I'll do my single crochet under both loops. Go through as if to chain and fasten up. And this is how it's looking so far. I think it's looking nice. Okay, so next onto the blue color. Let's take a look at what's supposed to happen now. So now we have this much of our diamond. So we're going to want this to come down in the blue here. All right, so we just want to keep that in mind. It's too bad I made my sample with reversed colors, but that's how I knew I wanted to change the colors around. That's the beauty of swatching. Okay, making a slip knot. So many times I make so many swatches until I get it the way I like it. Okay, attaching into the first stitch. <laughs> Going to chain to attach and single crochet under both loops. There we go. Now we know our design is just going up here. So we're going to do single crochets in the next two stitches in the back loop. We don't need to draw any blue lines over here. Now here we do need to draw a blue line because we want it to extend up. So we're going to double crochet. Before I double crochet, just take a look at this yarn. Can you get over how it's splitting? It's unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Thought I would just show you that so you won't be surprised when I do my review. Uh, okay, so now we're going to double crochet to draw this line here. There we go. And we're going to single crochet across into back loops. We don't need any blue lines in the center of our diamonds. We're going to want the centers to be green. <clears throat> And then we not want another line here. So I'm going to double crochet down into that front loop there. There we go. And you can see it extending. Then for the separation, we don't want a blue line. We're just going to put a single into the back loop. And here we want a line again into our next diamond. And then single crochet into the back loop across to the other side. And draw the line here with my double crochet. Okay, and we're going to just con continue all the way across doing that. You'll do a single crochet in between in the back loop. You'll draw your line here with a double, then you'll do three single crochets in the back loop, draw a line here with a double, continue that way across. I'll meet you at the end of the last diamond. Okay, so I just finished my last line on my last diamond. And then for the next two stitches, I'm just gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. 
We don't want any blue lines on our background here. And then I'm going to finish off in the last stitch doing a single crochet under both loops and pull through as if to chain and fasten off. Okay, there we go. That's how it's looking so far. And next, we are going to come back to our green color or background color. <laughs> I'm not gonna get this right. I'm gonna keep calling it green and blue. I can tell. It's one of those days. Okay. So now we're gonna go into the first stitch. Chain to attach. Single crochet in that same stitch under both loops and we're off and running. All right, so we definitely want this still to be the background. We're not getting any wider with our diamonds, so I know I need lines there. I need a double crochet in the front loop for both of those stitches. Okay. And now let's take a look and see what is happening with our diamonds in our sample piece here. Okay, so, so far, we are at this point here. So the next thing we want is for our line to move in. Okay, so we're going to basically mimic what we did on the bottom up there on the top. I don't know if you if I was holding that too far away. We're finished to there. We got these lines in. Now we're going to want to move in with these lines. So that's our goal. We're keeping that in mind. So what that means is I need a green stitch here so that when I get to this green row here, I can draw a line down to it. So that's what I want to keep in mind. I need these little green stitches there, but on mine, it'll be blue. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not making this too confusing with the different colors. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a green stitch here in the back loop. I'm going to want this blue stitch and this blue stitch here to go in, right? So I don't want to cover that up. So I'm going to do a single crochet into the back loop. Now this center stitch here, I do want to cover up because if I look at this, I have the pattern there. But in the middle, I still want that background color. So in this middle stitch, I'm going to draw that line and go down with my green. Okay, and you see now how this is starting to come in and get ready. Same with this side. So all I want to do there, I don't want to cover that up. I want that blue coming in. I'm just going to do a single crochet in the back loop there just like that, a single crochet in the back loop there. And I want to continue to have the separation between my diamonds, so I'm going to draw a line there. Okay, so now we can see it's starting to come together. And you'll notice in the next, when we get to the blue again, we're going to want to draw lines here. And that's how our diamond's going to go. Okay, so continuing on for this row. We're going to do a single crochet in the back loop, a single crochet in the back loop, draw a line in the center of our diamond to keep that green or whatever color you're using, a single crochet in the back loop, single crochet in the back loop, and then a double to make the separation between our diamonds. And if you like to remember patterns in your head, it's two single crochets in the back loop, a double, two single crochets in the back loop, a double, two single crochets in the back loop, a double. And you're going to do that all the way across, and I will meet you at the end of your last diamond. Okay, so I've reached the end of my last diamond, and I'm going to want my background color over here, so I'm going to do a double crochet down into that front loop for the next two stitches. Okay. 
and end my row by doing a single crochet under both loops, pull through as if to chain, and fasten off. There we go. Now back to our design color. Ha ha ha, look at that, I remembered. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. If I look at the sample, we've gotten to that point on the diamond. So now what we want is our design color to come down to create this part. Basically, it's gonna come down, go across, and come down, okay? So that's what we're looking to do. So let's attach our design color the way we always attach. Making a slip knot. Going under that first stitch there. Attach with a chain and then do a single crochet under both loops into that same stitch. All right, we know that we don't want any blue lines here, so we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop. And we know we don't want a blue line here. We want it over here, so we want another single crochet into the back loop here. And now we're gonna draw our line here. So we'll double crochet into the front loop in the front there so that it starts to come up. And then we're going to do a double, uh, a single crochet into the back loop there. We don't want anything coming down here. We still want that green. So just a single crochet into the back loop there, just like that. And then we want a line here. So we're gonna do a double crochet into that front loop. And now you can really see the diamond coming together. All right. Now we know we don't want a line here, so that's gonna be a single crochet into the back loop there. We don't want a line in our separation, single crochet there. And again here. And then to our next line, a double crochet in the front loop there. And that's how we're gonna work all the way across. Then you'll do a single crochet in the back loop here, a double crochet in the front loop here, and then three single crochets in the back loops across to your next line that you wanna draw. and a double crochet there. And you're gonna continue doing that all the way across, and I will meet you at the end of your last diamond. Okay, so I've gotten over to my last diamond. This is what it's looking like so far. And in the last two stitches here, I'm gonna do a single crochet into the back loop into each of those because I don't want blue lines down the sides. And in the very last stitch, I'm gonna do my single crochet under both loops, pull through as if to chain, and fasten off. All right, back to our background color. We are almost completely finished the pattern for the first row of it. Okay, so now, again, we're going to make a slip knot. And attach in that first stitch there. chain to attach, and then single crochet under both loops of that first stitch. All right, now we know we want it green all along here, right? So the next three stitches, we're gonna do double crochets in the front 
row to paint over that blue stripe there and hide it. Speaking of stripes, this entire time, I have not shown you the back of the work, but this is the beauty of mosaic. If you haven't seen it before, since you're doing the design on the front into all those front loops, the back just remains striped. I just think that's so cool. So that's how that looks. All right. Now, we know that we want these blue lines as part of our design. So we're not doing any green lines along here. So we're gonna do a single crochet into the back loop for those next three stitches. So we can keep our blue lines. Okay. Then we do want a green line here. This becomes part of our background. So we're gonna do a double crochet into the front loop. And we also want a green line here and a green line there. So we're gonna do two more double crochets into front loops for those two stitches there. And then we'll take a look, make sure this is working out correctly. It's looking good, is that our separation? And now, just on to the next diamond, we want these blue lines. We don't wanna cover them up, so we're just gonna do the single crochet into the back loop across there. That's three. And then we do want to cover up that blue there. So then three, the next three stitches will be the double crochets into the front loop. So this is very simple. You're doing three single crochets into the back loop, then three double crochets into the front loop. All the way across painting in your background, just like that. So keep going and I'll meet you at the end of your last diamond. Okay, so we're at the end of the last diamond and we're over here to the background where we wanna cover up that blue. So I'm gonna do a double crochet into the front loop for those two stitches there. And then in the very last stitch, I'm gonna do my single crochet under both loops, pull through a zip to chain, and fasten off. And we're gonna get our blue color, and we're gonna make a slip knot, okay, attach. Chain to attach, and single crochet under both loops in that same stitch. Now we don't want any blue lines here, we know that, so we're going to single crochet into the back loop there, so those can be covered up. Same thing here, we don't want a blue line there, so we're gonna single crochet again. Now here we do want a blue line to mimic the blue line down here. So we'll do a double crochet into that center stitch there. Okay, so we're gonna continue across in this manner. We're going to just single crochet across until we get to that center one where we want this blue line. Now, if you look at my sample, I had created it so that the next design would start in between these, but I thought that looked kind of busy for a bag. So my thought now is that as we go across here, we're basically creating this border row again. And then I thought maybe what we would do is do another green row and another blue row and then start the pattern again like that. So that's my plan. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> okay, I change things up all the time. All right, so we're going to single crochet into these next stitches, two, three, and I'm doing the back loop only, four, five, and then on the sixth, 
where I want the line, I'm going to double crochet in the front there just to make this symmetrical. All right, so we're gonna continue on that way. Five single crochets into back loops and then the double crochet into the front loop of the sixth stitch which creates that little peak there. And continue that across and I'll meet you when you get to the end of the last diamond. Okay, so I got to the peak of my last diamond and then I'm just gonna single crochet into the back loop of the next three stitches. There we go, and then finish off the way I always do with a regular single crochet under both loops and pull through as if to chain and fasten off. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, so this is how our design is looking, which I think is really pretty. And my thought is to have green here and then repeat this again. And then we can repeat as many times as we like to make the bag the size we want. And I will discuss that with you when we get there. So grab your background color. Okay. So what we'll do here is we will attach the way we always do. And do the single crochet in that same stitch. Now, in the beginning, when we were down here, we chain, did our chain and then a regular single crochet. And I think that looks really pretty. So I think that's what we'll do here. We'll do a regular single crochet all the way across under both loops until we get to the other side and I will meet you there. One thing is here, we do want the blue here because it is here also. Okay, I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so I've done three rounds of my design and I've decided to stop at this size. You can continue and do a fourth. Um, I think this will be a nice size. If I had more time, I'd probably do an extra, but I wanted to move along with the project. So this will still be a nice size bag. So I finished with a row of single crochets, regular single crochets in my background color. And I'm gonna do one more row of single crochets. Just to, uh, this side is a little bit thicker. So just to make it look more similar to this side. So I'm gonna do one more round, or one more row, rather. Attaching on the same way I have been all along, with the chain and the single crochet under both loops. And now when I look at this, I have this front loop here because I uh, crocheted into the back loop with the blue. So I'm just gonna crochet into the back loop, single crochet into the back loop all the way across till I get to the last stitch. And then I will finish off the same way I do the last stitch in each row. Boy, this yarn is splitting. There we go. And just so you see, it gives it the same type of look on both ends. Okay, so finish that off and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so now that you've finished one of the sides of your bag, you're gonna to want to make another one exactly like that. So you'll have two pieces. One will be the front side of your bag and one will be the back side of your bag. 
Okay, so now you've made it through part one and hopefully you really understand how to make a mosaic fabric. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below or send me an email at frannysquare at gmail.com and I will answer you as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.